finger bobs. Yuffie lifts a finger. And a mouse is there. Puts his hands together. And a seagull takes the air. Yuffie lifts a finger. And a scampy darts about. Yuffie bends another. And a tortoise head peeps out. These hands were made for making and making they must do. I'm going to make things out of wood for my story today. I can use these shavings, but I'm going to need some twigs. Finger mouse can get me some. All right? All right says Finger Mouse. Ooh. Wood shavings. That's fun. I like poking my nose into those. Now, now. That's enough messing around. I want some twigs. Off to the woods with you. Finger Mouse. Finger Mouse. The never stop to think a mouse. The always on the brink a mouse, finger mouse, that's me. I am the mouse called finger mouse, the mouse with guts and verve. I get past cats so easily with my famous body swerve. Finger mouse, finger mouse, I'm a sort of wonder mouse. A hit, a miss, a blunder mouse, finger mouse, that's me. Well, it looks as if finger mouse is going to need some help. So, Flash, make yourself useful. All right, says Flash. Slowly, steadily, I move at my own pace. They call me Flash, though I won't dash. Who wants to run a race? As long as I get there. Why worry? What's the hurry? <sighs> hmm, looks like a good steady worker is needed here, says Flash. Hmm, tricky things, Twigs. Never know which way's the right way up. I better get another load. Ouch. They're prickly. I wonder what Yuffie wants them for. Hmm, work, work, work. Get off. Get off. There. I suppose I better get another load. Hmm. You know, tortoises have their uses. They're slow, clumsy creatures says Finger Mouse, but their shells in the right place, just right for putting things on, like loads of twigs. Hmm. Beast of burden, that's me, says Flash. Still, all in a day's work. Press on. Oh well, I'd better get another load, says Finger Mouse. I don't know what old Yoffy wants with all these twigs. I hope it's going to be a good story. Ooh. 
This is too much like hard work, thinks Finger Mouse. Here's a nice shady tree. I think I'll have a kip. And while he sleeps, Enoch the woodpecker flies in and starts pecking at the tree. Woodpeckers do that, you know, looking for insects to eat. And Enoch pecks. And sawdust falls on finger mouse. More pecking. And more sawdust falls on finger mouse. And more sawdust falls on Finger Mouse. And more. No luck here, says Enoch. I'll try another tree. I never did like oaks. Well, Finger Mouse and Tortoise taking such a long time that Yoffy too has fallen asleep. Well, that's a nice lot of twigs. Just what I need. Don't mention it, says Flash. I expect Finger Mouse has collected another load for me. So, uh, I, I better press on. Sawdust. That's wood. Yoffy could use that, thinks Flash. This is where the Flash special shell comes in handy. What's going on? says Finger Mouse. Oh, ah, it's Flash. It's my friend Flash. He's a good worker, you know. You watch. He's slow, but he's steady. This is where I get a lift. This is the light. Travel by tortoise, beat the rush. this much sawdust. There we are. Don't want to waste any of this sawdust, says Finger Mouse. It was hard enough to come by, all that work. Yes, just pile it up a bit. That's it. I think I'll go get the tree. I'm ready for the story. Once upon a time, there was a king who was always looking up, up at the moon. If only I could reach the moon, he kept saying. If only I could reach the moon. He called his carpenter, who was always looking down, down at the earth. The king told the carpenter to make a tower of wooden blocks from all the trees in the land, high enough to reach the moon. And so the tower was started and grew higher and higher. Work went on night and day. The king came to have a look at the tower. It's not high enough, he said. It's not half high enough. We've chopped down all the trees in the land, said the carpenter. There's no more wood left. Right, said the king. Left, right, left, right. And he marched off the carpenter to find some more wood. More wood, more wood, more wood. 
They took all the furniture in the land. They took everything that was made of wood and they used it to make blocks to add to the tower. At last the tower looked high enough and the king began to climb up. When he got to the top, the moon looked so near he thought he could almost touch it. He reached out. Almost, but not quite. He needed one more block of wood to stand on. I need one more block of wood, the king shouted down to the carpenter. But there's no more wood left, the carpenter shouted up. Well then, said the king, take a block of wood from the bottom of the tower and pass it up to me. But your majesty, said the carpenter, who knew what would happen if he did that. Don't butt me, said the king. Send me up a block of wood from the bottom of the tower. Then it'll be high enough for me to reach the moon. So the carpenter did what he was told. And what do you think happened? Luckily, the king wasn't hurt. He just had a sore bottom for 87 days. And after that, he was quite happy to look at the moon without wanting to reach it. And he went on looking up, up at the moon. And the carpenter went on looking down, down at the earth. Well, that's the end of the story. Thanks for collecting all that wood.